So for the sleeves, we're going to start with four millimeter needles, okay? And we're going to create our two by two rib stitch, just how we've created it in the past. So for both the front panel and the back panel that we just completed, right? We did our two by two ribbing at the bottom when we first started. We're gonna create the exact same thing, okay? So for a back and a front, we did it for five centimeters. For the sleeve, we are also going to do it for five centimeters. Okay, so it's gonna be five centimeters thick and you're going to do your two by two ribbing. And your two by two ribbing, once again, is two pearls, two knits, two pearls, two knits, all the way across. Turn your work over and you're going to just match the knits and match the pearls and to create your two by two ribbing, okay? So it's nothing new. So we're going to do that for a total of five centimeters once again, okay? So if you're a small, you're gonna cast on 50 stitches. So because I'm doing a small, I'm gonna cast on 50 stitches. If you're a medium, you're gonna cast on 54 stitches. If you're a large, 54 stitches. If you're an extra large, 58. And if you're an extra, extra large, 58 stitches. You're gonna cast the, that number on. Work your two by two ribbing for five centimeters. And once you've completed that, I will meet you here, okay? So I'm gonna work on mine and I will meet you once I've completed my five centimeters of two by two ribbing. Okay, so here we are, I finished my five centimeters and now we're going to work on the next row. For the next row, we are going to rib. If you're a small, we're gonna rib six. If you're a medium, you're gonna rib eight. If you're a large, you're gonna rib six. If you're an extra large, you're gonna rib eight. And if you're an extra, extra large, you're gonna rib eight. Okay, so let's do that. Because I'm a small, I'm going to rib six. So one, two, okay, three, four, five, six. So all it is when it says rib six or rib eight is that you work the rib stitch for six stitches or for eight stitches. That's all it means. Next, we're gonna rib two together. So that's the same thing as knit two together, except we're doing it in the rib pattern, okay? So the next two stitches, we're going to knit them or purl them two together, depending if yours is a knit or a purl. In the case of my next two stitches, they are purls, so I'm going to purl two together, okay? So I'm gonna insert my needle into the next two stitches and do a purl. So two stitches become one. Next, I'm going to, because I'm a small, I'm going to rib four, and then I'm going to rib two together for a total of six times, okay? If I'm a medium, I'm going to rib four and rib two together for a total of six times. If I'm a large, an extra large, and an extra extra large, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to rib eight, and then I'm going to rib two together four times, okay? So because I'm a small, I'm going to rib four, so that means Work your rib stitch for the next four stitches. Two, three, four. Then I'm going to rib two together. So we look at the next stitch, there are two knits, I'm going to knit them together. So I'm going to insert my needle into the next two stitches and do a knit stitch. So two stitches become one. Okay, so I'm going to do that for a total of six times. So we did it once. I'm going to do it five more times. So that was rib four. So in the next four stitches, just continue your rib stitch. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to rib two together. I have pearls, rib two together. So I'm going to purl them together. Okay, 
So I did that set a total of two times so far. I'm going to do it two more times. So I've done mine for a total of six times and I have six stitches remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. If you are a medium, you should have eight stitches remaining. If you are a large, you should have six stitches remaining. If you're an extra large, you should have eight. And if you're an extra, extra large, you should have eight stitches remaining. Because I'm a small, I have six stitches remaining and that is correct. And what we're going to do with these six stitches is continue to rib them like normal. So rib six stitches for me. Okay, if you need to rib eight, you're going to rib eight. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. Okay? And so at the end, you should have, if you're a small, 43 stitches. If you're a medium, 47, a large, 49, an extra large, 53, and an extra, extra large, 53 stitches. Let's just count. I should have 43. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, and 43. There we go. Okay, so we now we know it's correct. So now let's change our needles to five millimeter needles. So to change it, we're going to, my needles are interchangeable. I'm just going to change the first needle. So this one is still hanging on to here. We're going to change the one that we're going to put the yarn into. So this is a size five, this is a size four. We're gonna change the, and now let's work. So once I'm finished this, just to, just for an insight, once all of these are onto here, I'm gonna change this needle to a size five and then they'll both be size five, okay? So that's how I change my needles. So once you have your five millimeter needle ready, we're gonna proceed as follows. We're going to work the moss, the double moss stitch like normal, okay? So this pattern here, the double moss stitch. So with the moss stitch, we're gonna start with a knit or a purl, doesn't really matter. I like to start with a knit. So we're gonna start with a knit, and then a purl. Knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, all the way to the end. So then you, you turn your work over, and you look at what stitch you have. If you have a purl, you're going to make another purl on top of that. If you have a knit, you're going to make a knit on top of that. So in the end, you're gonna have two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls, all the way to the end. That's row one, that's row two. For row three, once you turn it over, you're gonna look at what stitch you have. If you have two purls, then you're going to do a knit on top of that. If you have two knits, then you're going to do a purl on top of that, and you're going to like this. Okay, that's row three. And then finally for row four, you're gonna look at your stitch that you have once you turn it over, and you're gonna see if you have a purl. If you have a purl, you're going to make another purl on top of that. If you have a knit, you're going to make another knit on top of that. All the way to the end. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, the first four rows. And then after you do your first four rows, we're going to proceed. We're going to do the next step, which I will explain to you right now. So this is everything that we've been doing so far. Okay, so once you've done your first four rows of the moss stitch, your next row is going to be row five. So I've broken it down into this for you, okay? So the pattern says, Keep continuity of the double moss stitch, so keep doing the pattern as normal for the remainder of this section. And what we're going to do is work 79 rows if you're a small, 92 rows if you're a medium, 97 rows if you're a large and an extra large, and 91 rows if you're an extra extra large. So we're going to work, for example, for me I'm a small, 79 rows. And then I'm going to increase one stitch at each end of next and every following sixth row. 
what that means is that I'm going to do every sixth row I'm going to do an increase on both ends so at the beginning and at the end of that row because I'm a small I'm going to do it for the sixth row if I'm a medium I'm going to do it for every seventh row if I'm a large I'm going to do it for every sixth row if I'm an extra large I'm going to do it for every sixth row and if I'm an extra extra large I'm going to do it for every fifth row okay I'm going to do an increase one increase on each end so then the pattern says we're going to do all of the increases in the double moss stitch so we're just going to keep continuously doing the double moss stitch throughout okay so the pattern so let me explain this for you small medium large extra large extra extra large the left side is the row and the right side is the number of stitches that you will have okay so for example I'm a small so what that means is that the pattern says I will work 79 rows okay and I will every sixth row I will do an increase okay so I did the first four rows of my moss stitch we all should be on row 5 right now so the next one will be row 5 so here I am starting row 5 and I should have a total of by the end of row 4 I should have a total of 43 stitches if I'm a small you'll have 47 medium 49 large 53 extra large and 53 extra extra large that's the number of stitches you should have right now okay by row 4 row 5 we're going to do an increase okay so all of you on row 5 do an increase one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end okay one stitch at the beginning so we're going to start with an increase and then we are going to do an increase at the end okay and I will show you how to do that increase okay so here I have I've completed my four the first four rows of my double moss stitch and I'm on row five so I'm going to explain how to do an increase because the pattern says on row five to do an increase I'm going to show you how to do those increases and then I'm going to explain more of that. All right. So here's how to do an increase. So the double moss stitch is similar to a rib stitch, right? We have our pearls on its pearls knit interchangeably, right? So we're going to increase it as if it were a rib stitch. Okay. I want to look at the first stitch. What I have? What do I have? I have two pearls, right? If you have a pearl, you're going to start with a pearl. If you have a knit, you're going to start with a knit. Okay. So I have two pearls, I have a pearl here. I'm going to start with a pearl, right? I know in the double moss stitch you're supposed to start with the opposite one if you have two of the same. We're, just, we're technically supposed to do a knit stitch next, but because we're going to do an increase, we're going to do it this way and make the same stitch as the one previously. So I've got two pearls, I'm going to make another pearl. If you have two knits, you make another knit. Okay, so I'll show you. So insert your needle as if you're going to do a pearl wrap it around and do your pearl but don't slide the stitch onto this needle quite yet so I just made my pearl and what I'm going to do I'm going to bring my yarn around and do a knit stitch into the back into the back loop of that stitch of the same stitch okay into the back loop let's try and get that here like that and do a knit and then bring it over and what that's going to do is going to create two stitches the first one is a pearl the second one is a knit this one here we've got two knits so it's going to be a pearl right the next one two pearls it's going to be a knit and as you can see we have this pearl knit pearl knit right so we're still in the same order that we should be in so that's how you do an increase if you start off with a pearl stitch if you start off with a knit stitch let me just show you how to do that increase I'm just going to unravel and I'll show you so imagine this is a knit stitch okay if it's a knit, then I'm going to do a knit stitch on top of that for the increase. Just for the increase, only the increases. Okay? So imagine if these pearls were knits instead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with a knit stitch. 
I'm not going to put the stitch onto the needle quite yet. I'm going to do a purl. So I completed my knit. I'm going to bring the yarn to the front and complete a purl. So I'm going to insert my needle into the front loop as if I'm going to do a purl. Wrap it around and complete a purl. And that gives me a knit and that gives me a purl. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. So that's how you're going to begin your increase. So let's do that. So I'm going to do this. Once again, I'm going to start all over and do my increase. There's my increase and let's continue. And I'm going to show you how to do it at the end. So here I am on my last stitch. I've done the moss stitch all the way across. I'm still on row five on the last stitch and I'm gonna show you how to do your final increase, okay? So the one I did previously was I, did, I just did a purl stitch. So know that the next one that I want to have is a knit stitch, right? Regardless of whatever's here. I did a purl, I wanna have a knit stitch next, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our last stitch, we're going to do a knit, so knit but we're going to not finish. We're not going to bring this one onto this one quite yet. We just did our knit stitch. Now we're going to do a purl stitch, right? So bring your yarn over, insert your needle into the front of this same stitch like that and complete a purl stitch like that. And there we go, two stitches. We did an increase. So we have our purl knit purl okay so that's how you do your increases so I've just completed row five okay so I just completed my increase and now I'm just going to re-explain this for you so it makes sense okay so for a small I'm going to complete 79 rows of increases so I'm going to keep increasing every sixth row for a total of 79 rows, okay? So I did this one so far. So I was I just completed row five. The next, and I should have a total of 45 stitches, right? Because row four, we had 43 stitches. We increased one at the beginning. We increased one at the end. So that gave us plus two stitches. So now we should have a total of 45 stitches. The next one I'm going to increase is row 11, where I should have 47 stitches. The next one after that will be row 17 where I should have 49 stitches. A row 29 will have 53 stitches, etc. all the way to the end to row 77. Now, at row 77, we cannot do another six stitches because that's going to pass row 79. We have to finish at row 79, once again, for my small. This will apply to your medium, large, extra, large, and extra, extra, large. That's why I wrote it down here, but I'm just explaining this side. So it's clear. So at row 77, I'll have 69 stitches. I have to finish at row 79, therefore I only have two stitches, two rows left. So I'm going to work row 78 like normal, and then I'm going to do row 79 will be my final increase. And at that row, I should have a total of 71 stitches. So that's what this chart means, okay? Row 77, then at row 79, I will do my final increase, okay? If you're a medium, you're going to again start at Row five, you're gonna have, once you do your increase, you're gonna have a total of 49 stitches. Then you're going to increase at row 12, 19, 26, etc., all the way to row 89. At row 89, you're gonna have 73 stitches. And then finally, you're going to do an increase at row 92, which is gonna give you 75 stitches. Large and extra large. For the extra large, it follows the same um, left column as this. Okay, the number of stitches are just different. So for a large, an extra large, you're going to begin on row 5, then you're going to increase on row 11, 17, 23. You'll have 51 stitches, 55 stitches respectfully, 53, 57, 55, 59, etc. Then for large and extra large, you're going to finish. Your last row will be row 95, where you have 81 and 85 stitches respectfully. And then you're going to do your final increase on row 97, okay? 
So you're going to do 96 like normal, then you're going to do 97, which will be your final increase, where if you're a large, you're going to have 83 stitches. If you're an extra large, you're going to have 87 stitches, okay? For an extra extra large, you're going to begin on row 5, which you're going to do your first increases, and you're going to have a total of 55 stitches. Then you're going to increase on row 10, you'll have 57. Row 15, you'll have 59 stitches. Row 20, you're going to increase. Row 25, you'll increase. Row 30, you're going to increase, etc., all the way to row 90. At row 90, you'll have 89 stitches. And then you're going to do your final increase. Okay, so row 90 is an increase. Then you're going to do your final increase also at row 91, where you're going to have 91 stitches. So that's what this chart means, okay? I suggest you pause the video and you just follow this chart to make sure that you are on track until you reach your final row and the correct number of stitch count, okay? Once again, these are the rows that you are increasing on, okay? And these are the total number of stitches that you will have once you have done those increases on that row. Row 5 for a small, I would have a total of 45 stitches. Then I'm on row 11, I'm going to increase, and I'm going to have at that, at that point a total of 47 stitches after my increase. Row 17, I'm going to do an increase, and then I'm going to have a total of 49 stitches when I do an increase. That's what this all means. So get to the end of where you're supposed to be, and once you've done that, the pattern says to continue without shaping until the sleeve measures 47 centimeters if you're a small, 50 centimeters if you're a medium, 52 centimeters if you are a large, 53 centimeters if you are an extra large, and 53 centimeters if you are an extra extra large. Okay? So once you've reached the row that you're supposed to be on, for example, once I'm done row 79 and I have a total of 71 stitches at that point, I'm going to stop increasing. I'm no longer going to do my increases. I'm going to continue working the pattern, the double moss stitch, like normal, without shaping it, so without increasing, without decreasing, just, just like normal, okay? all the way until I have a total of 47 centimeters. So that measurement will be from the end of here. So the beginning of our uh, rib stitch, all the way until the end. And from here to here will be a total of 47 centimeters for a small, 50, 52, 53, and 53 for a medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large, respectfully. Okay, so do your increases. Get to the end where you're supposed where your final increase is. Then once you've done your increases, continue working the double moss stitch like normal without any shaping. So no decreases, no increases, just just like normal. With 71, 75, 83, 87, and 91 stitches respectfully. Okay, just continue working the double moss stitch like normal until you reach a total of 47, 50, 52, 53, 53 centimeters respectfully. And then I will meet you once you have completed that, okay? See you then.